Holy dang, what is that thing? I don't know, but let's fight it. And we are... Oh, sorry. We're back in the city, which means... We can get a Lizzie ally. So that's our item usage. What are we dealing with in terms of health? Rat tentacle thing. Ow, he does a good bit of damage. Might be able to summon more tentacles too, but we'll see how that goes. For now... Hello everyone, and welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. Now, real quick before I get to anything else, I'll just mention, uh, last time I said I would do a few, you know, see how many more of these battles I could do before I stopped. I did two. Two extra fights, because they have gotten pretty hard. My, 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 my kind of guess with this thing is that it's like, you're meant to come back to it as you get stronger work your way through it. So we're going to leave that for now as we float around like a vampire. Want to go look for a fun guy somewhere else? Yes, please. We have the hardware store, uh, which is for main mission, I believe. And we've done everything else we can, so maybe we'll do a little bit of wandering first. You notice a sizzleberry bush growing in a hedge row, hedge row off the side of the road. Weird. They don't normally grow this far from a volcano. Harvest the sizzle. You painstakingly collect the sizzle from each of the berries. By which I mean you take it and it's painful. Fair. Phlogistic resin. Of all the debunked theories of how fire works, this one is the one we've all agreed to pretend is true. Interesting. Alright, let's maybe head to the hardware store then. More stuff should maybe unlock. Oh! Oh, look at this! What's up, Gabby? She's pointing at a patch of large purple mushrooms growing out of a rotten log. Look at these mushrooms! So fat and healthy! Oh yeah. Yeah, I guess they do look. Oh. Huh. Wow, are you actually going to eat all of those? <laughs> Gabby is taking their secrets! Max HAP HP by five. Wow, I can't talk today. Well, okay then. After a short hike, you find a small hardware store nestled in the sparse woods surrounding the lake. It's the very model of a down-home country hardware store, except it doesn't have any old-timers sitting out front chewing the fat. Maybe it's their day off. Or maybe they ran out of fat. Hell yeah. Want to what, take a walk in the woods? No shit. No thanks. The code reads, Nice man, ask him for candy. Neat. Okay. Cool. I will indeed ask him for candy. The barrel has a joke price tag on it. 10,000 meat. What if it's not a joke? A barrel of rusty nuts and bolts. In case you want to buy some garbage, I guess. Paints in all of this season's trendiest patented colors, such as Potato Scarlet, and Super Ultramarine, and Blueberry Green. No. You don't understand the purpose of any of these tools. Any of them? Well, that's... Tongs or pliers? It's a little grabby thing, so at least that's some of them. But, I mean, yeah, fair enough. Those do have some weird designs. This shelf is labeled Ineffective Pesticides. Hey now, that room ain't part of the store. The proprietor, you presume? You're the proprietor, I presume? Hi up! Welcome to Valley Hardware, best hardware store in Crystal Dream Valley. Because of the selection or the prices? Because it's the only hardware store in Crystal Dream Valley. <laughs> Haha. Uh -huh. Been a long time since I got to use that joke. Don't get many new customers. Or new jokes. What can I do for you? Do you have any candy? Well, sure. Here you go. Pulls a piece of hard candy out of a jar under the counter and hands it to you. 
little piece of candy given to you by a friendly hardware man. Increases your physical armor by three. That's actually pretty damn good. Ask about something else. Uh, ask about a valve. Oh, sure! What kind do you need? A Glaston valve. But what's you need a toilet valve for? Oh, okay. I will go look. A Glaxton valve. Okay. Cats and their boons. Well, that's neat. Oh, I can leave a... Oh. Oh, that's cool. I can leave notes for myself. That's actually very handy. I can mark um, daily spots to go and get buffs every time a day ends. Alright, we want a Glaxton Valve. Uh, that's not on the list. Ah, here it is. A Glaxton Valve? Well, shucks. They stopped making those things nearly a decade ago. I guess there's a slight chance there's still one in the back room. I ain't been back there since termites got to the inventory. Or maybe after it got flooded. Anyway, it's a real biblical style of disaster back there. Wow, you think you would want to keep your back room... functional? But that's just me. Here, I'll unlock the door for you, so you can take a look around. If you find a Glaxton valve in that mess, you're welcome to it. Thanks. Mind your step in there. Ooh, yes, I will take both of your batteries, thank you. And the fuse, we can uh, go back to town and get that. Might as well take both of them. Same for the matches, to be honest. Those are just good things to have on you. Buy everything. Ooh, new boots. For people who value their toes a lot more than they value the rest of their feet. People will hear you coming? wonder if that actually does anything. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for literally everything in your inventory. Let's see what we got. I would like to... Uh, if we have to default to something, I'm going to default back to the vampire one, because that was fun. But I still like trying to get one different footwear every episode. Add bonus damage to a weapon. This thing is already almost destroyed. I, I, I don't know why it went so much faster than the trumpet. Also, I, I hope I can repair them. Because I do really like the, uh... Where is it here? Oh, wow. I got a lot of weapons from the spiders and stuff. Might have to go melee for a bit. Uh, sharpened dented bugle. Just a solid, reliable weapon. Honestly, I guess I'm just kind of willing to see what happens when the weapon, air quotes, breaks. I've also got that, which seems like it'd be a pretty solid weapon, too. For now, though... We can up our pants. Clown pants are probably the best ones to up, because it's got a little bit of everything. In that case, yeah. Now it should be what two? Where, where's our? Here we go. Yeah, two hot armor. It's the all-purpose one. Okay, what else we got? Use plunger. That's a weapon. Comfy hat lining. Oh yeah, definitely buff our main hat. Ah, your hat already has a comfy lining. Two linings might make it so comfortable that you'd immediately go to sleep when you put it on. So you can't double up on the, the same one. You have to add a different... Okay. Now, are there other linings? I think there's a metal lining one you can do. Hmm. Stuff to keep in mind, I guess. Oh, that's a new hat. 
Once we go back to town, which we can technically do any time we want. We can do stuff. Oh! It's a void. A pile of waterlogged garbage. It's a good thing you don't care what month it is, because this calendar is worthless. The shelf is empty, but even the emptiness is somehow dirty. Seepage has caused this concrete to become set in its ways. Nasty trash. These boxes would be perfect for storing a collection of mildewed clothes. How much of a door has to be gone before it doesn't count as a door anymore? It's actually a really good question. Is that it? Alright. Something's wrong with this door in a way that termites and flooding doesn't readily explain. Interesting. Well, before we go hop in there, I will take this moment to remind you, if you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to drop a subscribe so you don't miss any more to come. And, uh, yeah. All that good stuff. Ooh, everything's sepia. You step through the hole in the door and immediately feel a sickening lurch in your stomach and a burst of, this was a bad idea, in your mind. Like when you hit the first drop on a traveling carnival's rusty and hastily assembled roller coaster. After a moment, when the feeling has subsided enough, you open your eyes and look around. Looks like you're still in the same place you were, except someone came in and cleaned everything up while you weren't looking? Huh. Well, we are in the past. It's a lot of doors. Ooh, an actual workbench. Ooh, these are decent. Nuclear bomb from Glowing Ooze. Yeah, okay, I'll make one of them. And... We'll do a benzyl bucket. We can even make a grease bomb. Stiffening compound. One of everything again? Heck yeah. One more of them. I'm just making stuff at this point. Cool. Those are some really effective looking combat items. Shelves full of neatly organized hardware that definitely hasn't been destroyed yet. Stacks of boxes neatly labeled. There's a 1917 calendar on the wall by the desk. It looks brand new. Convenient. As you leave the storeroom, the shopkeeper spins around and you both stare at each other in surprise. You, because the shopkeeper looks quite a bit younger than he did when you went in there, and him because... Hey now! What in the heck were you doing in my back room? And how'd you get back there without me seeing ya? I'm, uh, a termite inspector. I didn't call for any termite inspector. No, I do surprise inspections so the termites won't find out in advance. Well, how'd you get past me? Very good at my job. Hmm. Well, I don't expect you found any termites. I make my own custom pesticide. Yes, it seems to be pretty effective. I might have to go back in there for a follow-up check later, though. Well, that's fine, I suppose. Just don't move stuff around too much. I like to keep it tidy back there. No problem. Okay. The shelf is labeled laden with dangerous pesticides that you're pretty sure were banned years ago. You don't understand the purpose of any of these tools and never will. A sign on the barrel says not for sale. A barrel of gleaming nuts and bolts. Paints in all of this season's most popular colors such as old fashioned purple and old fashioned orange and old fashioned orange again. Okay. It's the hardware store guy back when he was younger. Or is younger. Welcome to Valley Hardware, best hardware store in Crystal Dream Valley. Because it's the only store in the valley. Ha! <laughs> That's a good one. I'll have to remember that. I'm sure you will. Oh, cool. I made a time loop. What can I do for you? I'd like to buy one of those new Glaxton valves. Oh, sorry. Government fellas bought my entire stock. What? Uh, yeah, for the big dam they're building. I can order you one, though. How long would that take? Six to eight weeks. Um, would you mind holding on to it for me if I'm not back right away? Oh, sure, that's no problem. How long you figure? 
11 years. Oh, <laughs> what? No! Forget how I said that's not a problem. Well, nuts. Listen, I can tell you they bought a heap more Glaxton valves than what they're gonna need for that dam. If you go up the work side, you might get the foreman to sell you one of their spares. Where is it? Southern, southeast end of the valley. You got a map? Well, I have a postcard. Crystal Dream Lake. I never heard of that. But it's got a little picture of a dam on it there, see? Well, that's about the same place relative to here. Crystal Dream Dam. Great, thanks. Can I leave? There doesn't seem to be anything on the other side of this door. Weird. That is kind of weird. Alright, well... This door is still all weird. Back to the future. Cool. I don't want to abuse the ass for candy. It's a nice old man. And now we can go to the dam. Cool. Maybe we'll take a quick moment and go back to Ocean City and deal with the few things that we have allowed for ourselves. Uh, we got a new hobo who can hopefully teach us hobo code. Which is good, because there was something I think that needed nine hobo knowledge and we're at eight. Uh, what else was there? Oh, we can go to the tentacle house and get that done. I think that was the main one. Let's go do that. It's the match guy. Yes, but I need it later. Alright, to the base mold. Yay! Hooray! Now it's slightly less dark full of long expired cleaning products. Dirtiest broom you've ever seen. The world's dirtiest broom. You haven't actually seen them all, but you can't imagine a dirtier one than this. Muscle plus two physical and reduce muscle. Holy dang, what is that thing? I don't know, but let's fight it. And we are... Oh, sorry. We're back in the city, which means... Get a Lizzie ally. So that's our item usage. What are we dealing with in terms of health? Rat tentacle thing. Ow, he does a good bit of damage. Might be able to summon more tentacles too, but we'll see how that goes. For now... How much damage do we do? 11. Okay, go ahead and take this one out. And you do 6, so go ahead and take this one out. Ow. Oh, going after my 10, Lizzie. Pet is not doing much damage here. I guess the Thunder 1 did gone to for 10 physical damage. Oh, and healing itself. It's gonna bite her, eh? I see. What's this? Increase her own moxie, sure. Okay. only eight damage, but I guess the boss is definitely tougher. We're only dealing one damage. Oh, it's got six physical armor. Yeah, okay, so you gotta hit it with uh, other stuff.
sure, you know what? Why not? Can hit for 11. Oh, and we can kill it. Get dunked. You won. Those tentacles have wriggled their last wiggled their last waggle, and the giant mutant rat probably in a better place now. Tentacle skin hat band, some meat and XP. Ah, uh, here's the problem. There's a hole in this bag of tentacle seeds. Some of them must have fallen on the old dirt floor and sprouted. You dispose of the bag and pick up the handful of remaining seeds. Eleven. Nice. Well, be able to use those for a while. This washing machine needs to be washed and repaired and completely replaced. Plunge your hands into the foul water left inside the machine and find a pair of nasty old pants, referring to both their condition and their style. These jeans are twice as thick as regular jeans because of an extremely serious buildup of mildew. Physical armor and max HP. Gross, but also cool. Oh, I had to fish in it before. Damn. Disappointing. Whee! This house is good now? We're good? Alright, Tentacle House has been finished. Just a regular house. You love to see it. It's just a regular house on the map now, too. Alright, let's go see our new friend in the hobo camp. We still haven't fought these guys once yet. Ooh. That steel drum is definitely new. Here we go. Oh, hello. Thanks for pointing me here. It's been great. Nice. Yeah. I bet... Oh, and I already got a hobo code from him. That's right. I bet everyone's really glad to have a doctor around. Yep. Although we've got a pretty robust lot here, so there hasn't been anything really interesting for me to do yet. But you know what they say. Every unremoved appendix is basically a ticking time bomb. He rubs his hands together in excited anticipation. Can you spare some first aid supplies? Sure, here you go. Use them in good health. No, wait, that would be wasteful. Wait until you're in bad health. Gauze pad, which is good healing, and... Burtworth's Finest Tooth Wax. It's a whole ball of prescription strength tooth wax. Thanks, Doc. Hi, are you willing to... Practically a stranger here? Come on. Lies and slander. That bird. Alright, cool. I think we're back. Good to head back to town. Yeah. Or, well, to the lake specifically. Also, let's take a look at our symbol really quick. 14.18 out of 15. I don't think it went up at all during that fight. A little bit more wandering. Oh! Two of those hovering shadow orbs float up to you. They look basically this, like the ones you saw before. That is, they look like nothing, or perhaps holes in everything. But these ones move with purpose, and that purpose is menace. The two orbs squint at you. Mr. Poindexter's voice echoes inside your head in a way that makes your eardrums itch. Uh, Mr. the Third! Clearly, you did not recognize the warning inherent in our last meeting. How predictable you are. Did you predict this hand gesture? I suppose you think you're clever. I dislike clever people. Well, that makes sense, considering how you're so deeply in love with yourself. My Mr. the Third, you are interfering in affairs that do not concern you. And they are the affairs of very important and powerful people. I'm just trying to find my uncle. How about you creep stop interfering in my affairs? This is your final warning, Mr. The Third. We are not playing games. Well, that's a shame. I could teach you a pretty good one. Kickball, which starts a fight, or 52 pickup, which is 6 moxie, and I'm going for it, because it's probably going to be funny. You whip out a deck of cards and spray them at the orbs, which flinch and sputter in the fluttering clouds of white cardstock. By the time Poindexter recovers his composure, you're gone. Why are you 
dirty, uncouth little. Next time we meet, I'll put you in your place. I'm adding littering to your list of crimes. Cool. I'd say that was pretty worth. Alright, maybe one more wander and then I guess we head to the dam? Oh, here we go. You see a faded billboard advertising some kind of crystal shop. Crystals, Crystal Dream Valley Crystal Shop. Okay. Crystals. You want to make like a crystal and clear out? Um... Maybe there are crystals here, but they are so clear you can't see them? Just walk out immediately. The proprietress of this empty store has nothing to proprietor. her. What do you sell here? What do you think? Nothing. You're dead right, aren't you? And that's funny, don't you think? Because you'd really think that a crystal store next to a crystal mine would sell crystals, wouldn't you? Please, you're using too many italics, I can't focus. Let me tell you a little story about a young woman whose name is me. Ooh, I love little stories. Um, okay, that was weird that they were all gray. Ooh, I love little stories. My parents wanted me to go straight into college, so that's what I did. But college girls are only thinking about one thing, getting a degree so they can work in a mine. I'm not like regular girls, guy. I want to sell the things that come out of a mine. Why do you have to get a degree to work in a mine? What? Sure, gases and such. So I dropped out, moved across 13 states to the best crystal mine in the country. But when I arrived, the mine was out of business. And now so am I, before I even get started. So what are you still doing here? I miss why you wanted to sell crystals specifically. My name is Crystal. That doesn't mean you have to sell crystals. Yeah, but it just means I got fewer nouns to keep in my head. Fair. To be, to be true. Want me to check out that mine? Yeah, break me off a couple of crystals, you were thinking? Uh, I'm not asking to clear out the whole mine, man. But with just a few crystals, I can afford to send my whole sorority down there. College girls want to work in mines. Good to know. Gumbuckle Mine. Alright, I'm, I'm willing to go deal with that. It's easy to remember Crystal's name because that's the thing she doesn't sell. <laughs> God damn. Sure. Seems like fun. Off to the side of the dirt road you're walking down, you see a patch of blood moss growing on a bone tree. Okay, it's not a bone tree. It's just a normal dead tree. I just thought it would sound cooler if I said it was a bone tree. Squeeze the moss and stash the dribblings. Hematic Ichor. This is just the good parts of some blood. Okay. This door is comprehensively boarded shut. Gumbuckle Mine Foreman's office. Maybe there'll be a pickaxe here? Crowbar makes short work of the long boards. I see. Clearly we're going to be going back and forward in time in a lot of places here. This little radio is playing some big band music. Cabinet is securely locked. There's nothing on this desk except a very old pink slip. Filing cabinet is newer than the rest of the furniture, but it's still pretty wrecked. The reason for termination is listed as shirking of elevator maintenance duties. This filing cabinet is newer than the rest of the furniture, but it's still pretty wrecked. Just some shoes that probably made sense to somebody at some point. Oh yay. Flip, flip file, flip fops. Tongue twister. Flip file flip flops. Flip file flip flops. Flip file flip flops. Flip file flip flops. Man, that, okay, that's a fun one. Office equipment or footwear? Can it be both? Makes your steps more organized. Okay. Go in there in a minute. Elevator is rusted into a state of total functionlessness. Another one of those weird doors. It's a 1906 calendar. A desk with nothing on it or on or in or under or behind it. A huge disappointment, really. An empty birdcage. They must have run out of canaries. 
This version of the cabinet is unlocked. Unfortunately, this version of the cabinet is empty. Nice. There's a jacket hanging on the coat rack, which I guess makes it technically a jacket rack. Gumbuckle's mine cabinet key. A little brass key with Kretschmeyer cabinet co engraved on it. It's too far. If you go too far into that abyss, you might never come back. It's an elevator that leads down to the main shaft. Before we do that. This cabinet is empty except for one can of elevator grease. The can is labeled elevator grease, so don't go thinking you can use it to lubricate a ramp or a staircase or a funicular. I mean, does that work? Oh, it does. Well, let's go down on the path first then. See how that goes. Squirt here, a dollop there, and kapow. This thing will run like a charm for at least 22 years. I guess I just have to do it. What, what would have happened if I had done it in the future? Would I have screwed myself? No way are you wandering off into that temporal abyss. Interesting. This table is bare except for a note reading IOU 1 helmet. The cabinet is labeled dynamite storage and it is extremely locked. A very large, oddly spherical rock. It has a hole drilled into it. Your flashlight reveals sparkly colored crystals inside. It's a geode. Okay. I see. Well, let's go to the future. Or the present, I suppose. Back to the present. Oh, hey, Gabby's not here with us. That's important to note. This elevator has been remarkably well maintained. Nice work. Oh good, we can see. That way is completely blocked off with fallen debris. There's a big crack in the wall here. Massive cave-in. Actually, I suppose it's technically a miner. Interesting. Well, we need explosives then. I like that big band music. Just want to double check that there's nothing else we can do down there. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be anything else we can do for right now. Alright, I guess we're going to have to come back to this side quest later, either with some keys for that dynamite, or something like that. Can I leave? You don't know when you are, much less where. Yeah, that's fair. Alright, well that is neat. We will have to come back there. For now, back to the dam, I guess? Or to the dam in the first place? You see a familiar looking person heading toward you on the path. As they get nearer, you realize that the reason he looks so familiar is because he looks exactly like you. Ah, I've heard about this encounter, because there's a, a way to softlock your ending if you don't resolve this paradox. Uh, hi. Are you a clone, or is this a time paradox, or what? Turns out it's a time paradox, I guess. Wow, crazy. I agree. High five! The two of you, literally speaking, exchange a friendly high five. Kiss him goodbye. Okay, well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Good luck. Yeah, me too. Huh? Oh, haha, I'll have to remember that one. You did! So we have to make sure we have the other side of that conversation, otherwise we can accidentally have a really bad ending. This what you call it is huge. Damn. Oh, was that Gabby's voice? That was Gabby's voice. There's a lot of lake water in this pipe. Caught an Alaskan fever dream. Moon-eyed ditch nibbler.
Evan Rude Tide Crawler. This watery pipe has been fished of all life. This pump has a glaxon valve on it. This drain pipe has some nasty goo coming out of it. Fustulant Grolch. This is definitely the most fustulant of the Grolches you're carrying around. Beautiful flower stands in defiance of the reigning in of nature. It smells as good as it looks. This pump has a glaxon valve on it. Meat hidden in pipe. Ooh, you reach into the pipe and snag the concealed and congealed wealth. Ah. Another one of those time doors. Let's hope that repeated exposure to these isn't going to give your ancestors cancer. Leave this damn thing behind? Okay. So we have these valves here. I feel like taking them off the, the dam now would be a bad idea. So let's at least go back in time and take a look first. Dean Bro's door delivery. The door is being delivered. A crate labeled pipe shoes. Huh. This is probably not what they meant to order. These don't make any sense, but you're just going to have to roll with it. Helps you get around. Okay. I think maybe you roll? I guess we'll find out in like two episodes. Some careless dam worker has abandoned a toolbox here. Their loss is my gain. Cool. I guess it stands to reason that a structure this big would need more than one truck's worth of concrete. This one is empty. This truck is even heavier than a regular truck. Nah, you don't want to get your hook stuck. Yeah, that's fair. Hey! Poindexter says nobody who ain't on the crew is allowed on the site. Poindexter? Yeah, Poindexter. The foreman. Terrence Poindexter. Aw, oh, jeez. The man clutches his stomach. Are you alright? I'm just starving is all. The rest of the crew went to lunch, but somebody had to stay here and keep all the rubberneckers and looky loos off the site. I drew the short pants. Short pants? Do you mean straw? Nah, we've got these six little pairs of pants we found when we cleared out a nest of fairies. I see. Can I have them? No, because then we'd have no way of picking who stands God. Oh man, I can't believe how hungry I am. Feels like I'm gonna turn inside out. What about that table over there that says lunch? There's a reason everybody else left the site to eat, pal. You don't want to eat what Poindexter considers lunch. How bad could it be? Is it jelly deals or something? Oh man, I'd kill for a bo for a jelly deal. Poindexter brings these little bottles of sludge. He says, how does it go? He says, the point of eating is nutrition. Making sustenance pleasurable is a pointless waste of time and resources. Sheesh, he's a real riot of parties, that guy. Sounds awful. That's because it is awful. Clenches his stomach and moans. Yeah, dude, I've got plenty of food. Want some mushroom steak? I've got loads. Oh, wow, thank you. He greedily devours it. His stomach is still growling. I literally have loads of those. You can have as many as you want, my guy. Thanks, but I already had one of those. I can only eat one of a given thing every day. Doctor's orders. Oh, I see. I think we've got a few of these. Starting to look a little less hungry and a little more relaxed. We did not have more of those, but that's fine. Um... I think I've got lots of grease patties, so go ahead and have that. If you had to describe his current mood, you'd say probably he's 60% sleepy and 40% hungry. So two more things. Some refried bread. He's almost asleep, but he still looks a little bit hungry. We may have an Oblivion Burger, sure. Oh wow, thank you! Finally satiated, he slumps to the ground and falls fast asleep. Aww. This guy's in a well-deserved food coma. Sign says lunch, but what's on the table isn't identifiable as anything you'd want to eat. Claxman screws. Grafton nuts. Daxton shafts. Waxman discs. Braxton cords. Frampton picks. Glaxton valves. There's only one left. Good thing you got here when you did. It's a brand new 11-year-old Glaxton valve. It's a good thing they're building a dam. It'd be a shame if future generations got to enjoy this beautiful forest. Shh, don't think about it. This breakout house is extremely well constructed. Taps don't work, but there's still a bunch of water pooled in the basin. 
This is like an actual bathroom, not an outhouse, but I'm 100% here for that. Surprise! It's full of water! You should leave this the rest for people who need to use this room for its intended purpose. Handful of clean water. Workmanlike toilet for workmanlike... Oh yeah, we get XP every time we flush a toilet. Can't forget that. Alright, back to the present. This pump is missing its Blackson valve. Ah, so that's the one we took. This valve is held in place by decades of corrosion. Even if you could detach it, you'd get wrecked in the process. You've gone through too much for this stupid valve just to give it to the government. Okay, so this I wouldn't have been able to take them in the first place, and this place just functions with one Glaxton valve. Alright. Well, back to the lighthouse then. In a thickly overgrown and essentially sunless part of the woods, you happen across two large and burly vampires. They seem pretty ticked off. They're growling, growling menacingly, shoving each other around and so forth. Some kind of spooky territory dispute? Or maybe one of them drank a tourist that the other was saving for a special occasion? The nature of their argument is unclear. What is clear is that these guys are very strong, and you'd better be pretty sure of yourself if you plan to do something before they notice you. I do not have five muscles, so I'm just gonna beat him up. Don't suck me! I suck you! Aha! Or rather, my pet sucks you and then reverse sucks me, and then I blast him with lightning. Ha! Take that. Brutish vampire, brutish vampire nine, and vampire conjurer. How about that thing you do where you conjure? You, in fact, don't do that thing that you do where you conjure. Stop sucking me, bro. I don't appreciate it. You won. You collect a fair payment from each vampire for beating up the other one on their behalf. A bludgel. A bludel. Oh yeah, we had we had those before. Alright, now before we go any further, I could be wrong, but I believe I have a fair amount of XP. Yes, 284. Alright. That one's pretty neat. Improvisational muscles. Your finger muscle finkel. Finger muscles have learned how to make music without the intervention of your mind. So muscle and HP regener AP regeneration, sure. Why not? And how much more do we have? 84. That might be enough to upgrade one of our skills. Sure. And Pitt the Elder said, Why, under the wig of a wig, my dear. Huh? Wait, oh, no, that's disgusting. Heard them all. Takes a lot of asterisks. Of a lot to make you blush. There's still a lot of filth to wade through here. Sure. Oh, wow, it keeps going. She said, Thank you, but whatever did you, wherever did you find a can opener at this time of night? Oh, that's terrible. You're embarrassed to admit you laughed. So 50 more and we can upgrade that. Let's take a look at that. So we just naturally have two sleaze armor now. It's pretty decent. Okay. Alright, well, let's get this Blackstone valve installed. Fortunately, the place where it slots in is clearly labeled. 
Hey, dude. I installed the valve. Oh, yep. I've been watching the water level through the window here. Should be dry enough for our purposes now. Come on upstairs. He disappears through the door behind him. Box of spare 60 watt light bulbs. Do you only use 60 watt light bulbs? Don't need much. Ain't that big a light? Huh. Hmm. Most lighthouses have a somewhat bigger lamp. That's pretty true. An empty and wet bookshelf. Good thing he had his book downstairs. Well, here we are. Welcome to where the magic happens. Magic? Sure. Fiat Lou. <laughs> Old lighthouse keeper joke. So, can I have the compass now? What? Uh, no, certainly not. I need that. But, you asked if I had an old compass, and I said I did, and that I'd show it to you. I never said anything about giving it to, to you. Oh, well, I really need it. So do I. I gotta calibrate this lamp to the North Star every so often, and I need a good compass to show me which one is the North one. What if I get you a new one? No, I said a good one. The no ones, the new ones ain't any use at all. Why not? Cause of how they changed them. What, changed the compasses? Well, they didn't teach you that in school. Folks got short memories. It's only around the turn of the century. Some Atlas company bought the patent on West and rebranded it as New North. Then they did a recall on all the compasses and issued new ones. They all point West now, and that ain't, and that's useless for my purposes. Okay. Well, how about I find you another old one, then? If you find another pre-New North compass in at least as good as condition as mine, then sure, I'll swap you. Don't really get the point of that would be, though, since you'd already have one. Well, it's a long story. Never mind, man. Here, maybe this will help you. Most of the old compasses got radium paint on the dial so you can read them at night. This old Geiger counter ought to be able to pick up the radiation from that. The newest innovation of the Hay Really Company. This device allows you to detect radiation by making an annoying clicking noise whenever you are in ease nearby. Where should I start? Well, most folks consider the old kind of compass to be trash nowadays, and if I was trash, I'd probably be at the old junkyard. Neat, thanks. Cool. Well, we've got a lead on where we need to go for the next stage of the main quest. But for now, I think this is going to be where we leave it off for today. So thank you everyone for joining me. I hope you had fun. And I will see you all next time for some more Shadows Over Loathing. Bye-bye.